Grand Rising to all of my beautiful subscribers. What's good? What's popping? Hope you guys are having a beautiful fire day so far. Hope you guys are ready to just enjoy today. It's gonna be 91 degrees. It's gonna be hot as shit. Okay? So we know people gonna be half ass dressed out here. Cause I know I am. It's like, uh, anyway. What I wanted to say was, uh, I got two other signs posting up. And I'm going to do a few more signs before I start my day, start my weekend. Okay? But I am going to put some energy out for you guys. Y'all can know what's going on. What's the tea? I had to re-upload two videos because when I went to go check my videos that I had already put up there last night, all of a sudden this morning, they just randomly disappeared. Okay? Because somebody don't want you to know that the whole time they've been dealing with you, they've been dealing with their ex from their past. Okay, because it's funny how, like, it's funny how people can move on so quickly once a relationship is done. That's because that person was already doing shit and that person was already interacting, fucking around with people. Because if they wasn't, get to, get off it! Y'all, I'm telling you. So stay right here. Stay right here. I'm not playing those games with you. Stay right here. Stay right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're not doing that. Stand right here. Sorry, y'all. Like, she tripping, y'all. Anyway, like I was saying, if somebody already move, if somebody jumps in a relationship or they already in a relationship and they already start posting being in a relationship right after you and them just broke up or whatever, because people don't have to show shit. People can do shit discreetly and secretively so don't nobody know or don't nobody find out that they already been dealing with somebody but the thing is it's like what are you hiding it for like be happy just if that's what you want to do then just do it i never understood people to as though it's like when they move on or they get in a relationship or they dealing with somebody from their past or they go back to somebody from their past that they they feel they feel ashamed about it or they feel bad about it. Don't feel bad about it because you felt good when you was doing it at that time dealing with that person in the relationship. So why you feel bad or feel sad or feel feel regretful all of a sudden? Keep that same energy. That's why I be believing that shit when they say is a, a person that always been faithful and loyal. You they always take time to themselves. And take time to heal and they stay single until it's time for them to find somebody that they feel like that they want to be with. But a person that never was single, I mean, a person that was never loyal or a person that never was honest, they're going to already be in a relationship. And that's self-explanatory because ain't no way in hell you get out of a relationship and then all of a sudden you're in a relationship. You don't meet people that fast. I don't care what people say. You step out and then, yeah, you're going to have people that's attracted to you, that want to talk to you, that want to get to know you. But nine times out of ten, if you rush into a relationship or you jump into a relationship and you ain't even did the necessary healing for yourself so that relationship can go to where it needs to be, then it's like now you're just trying to fill a void at this point. Three, three, three. You're trying to fill a void. You're looking for someone to console you or comfort you like you are the victim or some shit like that. I don't understand people. Like, take some time to heal, to fall back in love with yourself and get to know yourself. So that way, when you do get in a relationship with somebody or you do want to meet somebody or you do want to talk to somebody or whatever the case may be, you ain't got to worry about that person still hung up on their ex and you ain't got to worry about it. That person ain't got to worry about if you still hung up on your ex. Okay? You get what I'm saying? Like, I hope I'm not confusing y'all. Long story short is, if a person gets out of a relationship with you or vice versa and they already in a new relationship or they already dealing with somebody then that's because that person was already dealing with that person in the midst of y'all relationship with y'all connection now i call it how i see y'all can disagree or you can agree everybody has their own opinion but the truth is what the truth is because most of us that been through so much shit traumatizing experiences and unhealthy relationships yes we do have to take time to heal because once again, we have to fall back in love with ourselves and we have to be in that energy to where as though we're able to keep a healthy relationship. We're able to stay committed to that person. We're able to stay loyal to that person. So when you sit and you do all this wild ass shit in the midst of a relationship, knowing that you don't feel good about what you're doing, 
it's like it's a little bit too late. Don't stop feeling bad and don't stop feeling sad. Like, just continue on with your life and I wish y'all the best on y'all relationship. Because in my side, I had picked up that an uh, ex is going back. They An uh, ex has went back to an ex from their past. And it's like, if, if my ex did that, I don't care, bruh. Like, I don't care. I just wish y'all the best. Like, I wish y'all all the healing that y'all need or all the healing that not y'all need to restore back in y'all relationship because obviously spirit sent you back to that ex for a reason because maybe it was something going on that you still needed to learn from that person for you to go back into an ex. I'm embracing the new. I want everything new, okay? New, new everything, baby. I'm not going back. You an ex for a reason. You have been expired. You have an expiration date. That's why you're an ex. An ex. You don't see these cars? An uh, expiration date. That's why motherfuckers are exes, because they need an expiration date. Like, you expire. You're past due. It's, it's over with. It's done. So, yeah. I just don't understand why people think shit is just a big of a deal. It's not. Like, do what makes you feel happy. If going back to that ex is what makes you feel happy, then cool. Do that. Don't feel bad about it. Okay, wear that bitch with a smile the same way you was doing sneaky shit with a smile and fucking around on, on, on the person that you was married to or the person that you was dealing with with your ex. So do that shit with a smile. Do that shit with a smile. Okay? Don't try to hide it. Don't try to be regretful. Don't try to be remorseful. Don't try to feel bad. Don't try to feel sad. Do that shit with a smile and be happy about it. Okay? That's one thing people need to know. If you're happy when you're doing it at that time and moment, continue to be happy when it's over or when that person find out. Don't try to sit up here and feel bad about it now. Be happy, okay? Because I'm happy for you. I just wish y'all the best. You feel me? It's just that I'm not built like that. <laughs> like, once you expired in my life, that's what it is. That expiration date, the last day you walked out of my life is what the fuck is going to be. You cannot bring back something that's for you, something that's expired, something that is wasteful, point blank, period. But I got them other signs coming up. I got, I'm going to do a few more signs and post it up before I actually start my day and get my Friday going. I love you guys a lot. Hope you guys continue to rock with your girl, support your girl, you know, and continue to heal, love yourself, okay? Don't go back to situations because you're trying to fill a void or because you want love or because you want somebody to be there or whatever the case may be. That's that's a sign that you need to heal, baby, okay? Stop running from what the fuck you need to do within yourself so you can be able to find that person that God wants to be in your life, that needs to be in your life, that's going to help you change, help you grow, help you evolve, and not keep bringing up past traumas from dealing with an expiration date that need to be expired and that spoil you and that's no good, Okay? So, I love you guys a lot. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you guys can always know when your girl posting. Peace.